Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Today, we talk all about the Pumi, Mm -hmm. which is a Hungarian herding dog. And I, this dog nerd, (laughs) did not know there was a Pumi. I knew of the Puli with Mm -hmm. an L. And so this is one of three sheepdogs indigenous to Hungary, the Moody, Puli, and Pumi. Yeah, and like Megan said, so the Pumi is thought to have been a combination of the Puli and Western sheepdogs and terriers. So terriers would explain some of the... The energy, yes. (laughs) (laughs) But hey, look... Uh, if you love our content and you like what we're doing, please be sure to subscribe. Our channel really needs subscriptions, and we, we really uh, love it when you guys subscribe. It's like a little gift every time we see we've got a new subscriber. So thanks to all our subscribers. We love you and appreciate you. And if you don't want to miss an episode, click the little bell to get a notification every time we have a new one. <laughs> now let's, get, let's hear all about the Pumi. Okay, so now we are talking about the Pumi, which is a breed that's new to me. So, first of all, where is this breed from? Pumis are from Hungary. They're Hungarian herding dogs. That's a little herding dog, huh? They are, yeah, but they're, they're mighty. They can herd anything. Cattle, sheep, ducks, children. Wow. <laughs> and um, that looks like, I haven't touched her, but it looks like a pretty soft coat. It's, um... Yeah, it's soft. It's a it's a little wire. It's a little um, curly, kinky, okay. so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, being that they're a herding dog, are they very active? They are very active. Uh, Charlie is uh, titled in agility, scent work, rally, dock diving, fast cat. If she does anything I ask her to do, she's ready to go. She's yeah, wow. very agile, very athletic. Yeah, I noticed she jumped up really high. <laughs> she's bouncy. Is that typical of the yes, breed? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And. Um, would this be a good dog for a first-time dog owner? It could be, yes, yeah. Again, yeah. with just the right... Smart. Yeah, they need a, a job. You need to give them something to do, okay. you know. And with that, the training needs to come pretty early on. Yes, yeah. yeah. So is this a very common breed here in the United States? Not yet, but they're becoming more, more popular, yeah, but they're fairly new. Yeah. Does this coat shed? They do not shed. Yeah. Wow. That, so that will probably increase the popularity yes. since it's a yeah. non-shedding breed. Um, do they have any health concerns that we need to know about? Um, not that I know of. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. So um, activity level with this breed, do they, do they need to get a lot of that energy out? They don't. They're not bouncing off the wall type of dogs. Again, they, they can lay on the couch for an hour with you or they'll get up and go run agility. You know, whatever you want. They, it's better for them to get, you know, some energy out, but they don't have to. They won't wow. be going crazy if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> and so w- I'm guessing good family dog then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, what am I forgetting? Is there anything else? That... <laughs> um, they're very, they can be very vocal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Do yeah, they bark? The, okay. the standard says they can be vocal and she definitely is more vocal than our other, the other breeds we have. She barks when it's meal time. She barks when she wants to go out. She barks when, you know, she barks quite a bit. So. That, and there she goes, as if on cue, just a little one. That's good to know, because, you know, having had Border Terriers, we had one that was very vocal. And I think, there you go. I think Terriers are more vocal in general. But so, and it's a, it's a, it's a pretty high pitch, too. So you got to, got to be aware of that. Um and not best for apartment living if your neighbors complain. Yes, that's a good point. Um, anything else that I forgot to ask you? I can't think of anything. Awesome. Yeah. Well, she is beautiful, and she's just a little shy, yeah? A little timid, yeah, and that's typical of the breed, too. They can be a little timid, a little reserved. Is that because of the, the job that they do? Is that sort I of... I think so, but yeah, because they're typically out away from, you know, they don't hang around crowds a lot. They're out with their herd and yeah. their, their shepherd or whatever, so, yeah. Yeah, so she's going to go do business but not go greet the neighbors. Right, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Such a cute energetic breed with quite an instinct for doing its job yeah and just remember if you're an experienced active dog owner and you're looking for a high energy work dog this may be the dog for you yeah remember when we said terrier was in this (laughs) breed somehow um and also one thing we wanted to have to note that um 
They think that the Pumi originated from the Puli 300 to 400 years ago, which wow. makes it pretty old. So wanted to just point that out. And if you enjoyed this episode, click a thumbs up for us. It'll really help us here on YouTube. We appreciate all your support. Yeah, and if you have a Pumi and we missed something or there's something you want to add to it, please feel free to, you know, put a put a description down below. Hit us up on an email. Uh, if you're listening to us on a podcast, however you can communicate to us. I don't know how you communicate they to email us, there. us. Yeah, email us. Uh, do that because we love your comments. And speaking of comments, we are going to look at our commenter of the show. Awesome. And this one comes from Andrew Draffin. So this was on the Irish Wolfhound video. I got my girl Tilly around four months ago as my first dog. She's around seven and a half months old now. Absolute sweetheart of a dog. She is an amazing companion and is my constant shadow. Heads turn wherever I go. I don't think I've spoken to so many strangers in my life since getting her. I often ask people when they stop, stare, and smile, would you like to say hello? Nine out of ten times, people's faces light up, and I get, oh, can I please? I highly recommend the breed, but the biggest detractor is their relatively short lifespan. Mm -hmm. With that being said, like any dog, they could live to 20 years old, and still it wouldn't be enough. Yeah, absolutely. Andrew, we, thank you. Thank you so much for that comment. Yeah, we agree, Andrew. They're, they never live long enough, but... Um, Boy, you know, some of these breeds, if you're an introvert and you don't want to talk to people, you got to think <laughs> twice because we heard the same thing about the Salukis, yeah. about how she gets stopped all the time too. So um, thank you so much, Andrew. We love your feedback and um, y'all keep your comments coming. We love to hear about your dogs and your experiences. Yeah, yeah. So Megan, tell everybody where they can find us. You can find us everywhere on social at Dog Nerd Show. Drop us a line, dognerdshow at gmail.com. If you would like to be interviewed about your breed, we can do a Zoom. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking for some dog nerd gear, head on over to etsy.com slash shop slash hound and thistle. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, until next time, folks, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.